Hello, my name is Anand and in this Cisco networking program, yes, I am going to discuss about this uh, routing. So the first and foremost thing which I am going to discuss in this session is static routing. So first of all, what is routing? Uh, to route a router needs to know about the neighbor, uh, the remote networks, neighbor routers and of course all possible routes. It is like this thing. I am at my current position. I want to know the remote location. What are all the in between areas or hops which are we call as routes okay so the absolute best route to all the remote networks maintain and verify the routing information you see here in order to achieve from the source to destination you have to cross the four routers the path associated in order to get from the source to destination is called as routing okay <coughs> So now, in order to classify the routes, we have different uh, we have different type of uh, routing. The first and foremost and easiest one, which is called as the basic static routing. So here, let me uh, give the scenario. Of course, we are going to do in the exercise. There is network A, there is network B, and this network C. So this router is aware of this particular network 172.16.2.0 and 172.16.3.0. But this router doesn't know about this 1.0. Same thing, this router is aware of 1.0 and 3.0, but not 2.0. So, in simple routing, what we need to do is that in order to gain communication from this device to this device 1.2 or something, we need to define the unknown networks in this router, in router A. So, if you define all the unknown routes, unknown networks in this, this is called as simple or static routing so here how do we write so the static route is very simple like this thing as i mentioned this is one uh, network three network one network in router a or in router b what we need to do or in router a what we need to do is uh, we need to define this 1.0 which is an unknown okay 172 that is ip route the command 172.16.1.0 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the gateway the gateway of this router the gateway of this router is 172.16.3.2 so that this will query and identify this 1.0 okay or the interface of S0 this is also okay so in this way once this unknown networks are identified by the routers then the communication is possible so <coughs> So now let me quickly go through and uh, do the experiment which we have uh, done. So this is three routers. So let's rename this one to static route. I do not want to mix all the things. Static route 3R. So <clears throat> in this exercise, let me proceed with the exercise. I'm launching the Cisco packet tracer. This is the diagram for the three routers. So my exercise is uh, configuring the static route. So here, as I mentioned, I have five networks. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So what I'm going to do is here, like if I say router A, I'll take a notepad and explain. So total networks, please understand the scenario for static routes. Static routes, we need to write everything manually. So total networks are 192, 168, 1.0, 2.0, I'm just shortcut, writing in a shortcut way, 3.0, 4.0, and 5.0. These are the total networks. Out of which, router A, okay, so I'll place it like this, known and unknown, known networks, unknown network. In router A, it knows about this 1.0 and 2.0. You can see here, 1 and 2 is known. 3, 4, 5 is totally unknown. Router can't access the network. So, unknown are 3.0, 4.0 and 5.0. Okay. So, for router B, so here it, know, it knows about uh, 2, 3 and 4, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 
3.0 and 4.0. Unknown networks are 1.0 and 5.0. Unknown. Router C. Please understand the scenario. Router C, uh, it's aware of uh, 4 and 5. 4.0 and 5.0. So unknown are 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. Which is clear? So in static route, we need to uh, define like this static route. Okay. So the task is make the unknown routes known to this route. Then the route is established. Yesterday we saw, we tried to ping from network 1 to network 5, it didn't, or network 3, it didn't. So what I am going to do is that I am going to, in CLI, I am going to establish the route. So EN, R, CONT, T. So here, as I uh, mentioned, that I need to define these three routes, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, 3, 4 and 5. In router A, IP route is the command. IP route 192.168.3.0 net mask 255.0 and what is the gateway of this router? Please see this particular one. The gateway of this particular router is 192.168.2.2. I mean the exit and the landing of the next router. So, I am going to mention that 192 168 please be careful while writing the gateway or you can write the interface yes 23.0 is written IP route 192 168 4.0 255.255.255.0 the gateway is common for all because it has only one out one gate one interface 2.2 okay IP route I am writing for fifth one also done <clears throat> once done I can say write memory okay similarly I will do for the second uh, I mean router this is London router con t sorry en star con t IP route. So here the unknown routes are 1.0 and the last one is 5.0. So I can write straight away IP route 192, 168, 1.0, net mask 0. What is the gateway to 1.0? Is 2.1. Here you see there are two interfaces. One is towards left and the other is towards right. So in order to reach 1.0, this is the interface. This is the next hop. So I need to write 192, 168, 2.1. Perfect. IP route 192, 5.0 is my remote network. The last one which is unknown. 255, 255.0 and <clears throat> yeah this one. So the gateway is 192, 168, 4.2. 192, 168, 4.2. Done. So all the unknown routes are identified and it is stored to the router. Similarly for Singapore. EN T IP route 192 168 here for this in this case 1, 2 and 3 are unknown 4 and 5 are known 1.0 255.255.255.0 and what is the gateway of this particular one we have only one interface that is 4.1 okay <coughs> So 192, 168, 168, 4.1, perfect. So same thing for 2.0 also network, same thing for 3. Up arrow will give you the, give you the previous command, 3.0, 1, 2 and 3, okay. Now all the routes are identified. All routers are aware of the remote routers. Now what you can do? 
what you can do you can try ping first go first go you can try ping so just say command prompt earlier when we were doing ping for 192 5.2 that is your remote uh, singapore's location uh, system it denied so now let me try <coughs> Yes, absolutely. It is going through. It has identified the route and it is pinging. Similarly, you can try doing for 3.2, the other things also. Like 3.2 is your other network. Yes, it should ping. It's okay when it says request this is a software. Basically, there it takes some time. So, it has identified and it has shown the ping. Similarly, if I want to try from here also, I can verify the ping you can even try to ping the gateway interfaces also <clears throat> 192 168 suppose if i want to do 2.1 from here this is the one this interface yes i can do it is pinging or maybe 1.2 so this is called as a static routing this is called a static route see now how to verify the routes go to this router the command which you use is show IP route. Show IP route. This will show you. Please understand. We have different type of routes. We are in the beginning one which is static route. And then later on we will see even dynamic route, default routes also. So here when you say C for connected, S for static. You see here 1.0 is directly connected. 2.0 network is directly connected. C. Yes, you can see the status here. S for static. 3, 4, 5 are identified via 2.2. That is 2.2. Okay. So now this is done. Similarly, you can open this and say show uh, IP route. This is the verification command. Here 1.0 is a static route. 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 are connected directly. 5.0 is again a static route. Hence verified. Okay. Just save this one before you log off. Uh, save as. Okay. I'll save into static route. Save. Right. That's all from me in this static route. Next video, I'll be presenting this uh, dynamic routes. Thank you and bye.